The snow canceled a lot of games this week, but a loss of South Gallia on Monday canceled the rest of the federal hawking girls season. So Fed Hawk reporters Rachel Walbrown and Kellyanne Sitz join me on the show now. So where did the Lady Lancers go wrong? You know, Sean, it seems like every week we talk about how foul trouble and the lack of endurance are plaguing this team. And unfortunately for them, they just weren't able to over overcome those obstacles in their season-ending loss against the Lady Rebels. The Lady Lancers held a lead for a while in the third, but South Gallia was able to find a groove that Fed Hawk couldn't stop. The Lady Rebels played a tough game, but ultimately, open shots and good shooting opportunities from Fed Hawk is what got those ladies a win Monday night. You know, but it was a defensive standoff until the fourth. Both teams were forcing turnovers, but the Lady Lancers were unable to connect with the basket. They had more lost possessions than points in the first, but you know, Destiny Taylor was once again a leader on the court, and this time she had some help with Audrey Blake, Hannah Dunphy, and Skylar Hatfield, who all contributed in steals and rebounds. But not all the steals were fair. Fedok fouled 17 times. If they would have played with finesse and really relied on pure ball handling instead of body contact, they could avoid this issue. Fedok lost their spark late in the game. South Gallia's defense proved to be too much for the Lady Lancers. They got desperate and gave up too many crucial points. The ladies may have lost, but unlike the boys, they at least got to play. When are the Lancers going to get a second shot at Eastern? You know, the snow and the cold pushed back that matchup until February 26th, Sean. And in the meantime, they'll play their first tournament game against St. Joe on the, 20, on the 16th. The last time the Lancers faced the Eagles, Eastern took the game 57-45 in their first win of the season. The upset put Federal Hawking into a rut, but they'll have a chance to redeem themselves in a couple weeks. You know, just like the ladies, the boys have been struggling all, all season with the same issues. When they take on St. Joe on Tuesday, mistakes must be kept to a minimum, and keeping possession of the ball will be crucial. And scoring on those possessions will keep the Lancers in the game if they control both fouling on offense and defense. But confidence is key. They cannot mentally shut down if things go south. You know, and when something goes wrong, that's when teams need to be more positive. Some coaches would say that the game is 80% mental and 20% talent. And once the Lancers think like winners, they have the ability to have the season with a couple of wins. So, Rachel, how about you answer this for me? What is, who's one boy on the team that needs to step up in the postseason? Sean, I'd have to say Carter Russell. He's the Lancers' biggest man and their biggest weapon when it comes to both offensive and defensive rebounds. If the Lancers want to go far in the postseason, he's going to have to get up and get that ball to keep their opponents from a second shot at the bucket and to get themselves a second chance when people don't shoot the ball the first time. All right, we'll see if he can indeed step up in the playoffs. Thanks, guys.